Hey guys, um, it has been a long time since I have done a video and I'm filming with a phone so bear with me with the really bad lighting quality. But the last time that I ever did a video for you guys was back in June. I have it pulled up on my large computer here and it was the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation Review. Um, extremely long so I'm going to try and not make this one as long as the first one. Um, I'm going to kind of do some favorites for this month of December, um, some that I've been using for years, others that I've just been using for a couple of months, but to kind of let you guys know a little bit about me through products, I think that's really cool to see people's favorite products and so you guys can kind of discover your new favorite or go out and try it or something. I think all of these are definitely worth trying. Um, some of them are expensive, some are, are not. So most of them are from drugstore. I have one thing, actually two things that I got. Um, from a non-drugstore place. So these are really products you really could try. And if you guys already have them, give me some pointers on them or some tips or whatever. Um, comment box is always freely open for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right on in. I've got a few face products, hair products, and then some makeup products. So I'm going to start off um, with what I cleanse my face with every single day. Um, I guess I'll kind of tell you guys about my skin type. I have extremely oily skin. Not combination, not in between. It is just straight up oily. I have to blot my face constantly. So I've had a battle with, um, with cleansers over the years. And I finally found, and it's because of my boyfriend, he uses it because he has like the easiest skin in the world. Um, he uses the Cetaphil Daily fa um, Facial Cleanser. This is now my facial cleanser. We borrow it. Um, we, we share it. I mean, this is my cleanser. Um, this is the for the normal to oily skin. This has been my lifesaver. It thoroughly removes my makeup. Um, it cleanses off the oil, but it keeps my face moisturized so my skin is not producing more oil to lack for the lack of moisturization. So this stuff is my saving grace, and we always buy the big old tub because, like I said, we we share it. Um, this stuff I I think is worth every cent um, and like I said because we buy these huge ones I rarely have to really repurchase it. Um, this is something if you guys are really you don't know what to get for your skin you know you don't want to go off and spend hundreds of dollars on facial products and you know, maybe you've already spent thousands of dollars on a lot of things because you can't figure out what you need for your skin. Cetaphil is definitely, I think, the way to go for people with sensitive skin, oily skin, um, regular skin. I mean, it's it's for everybody. It's really, I've really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, that's what I cleanse my face with morning and night. Um, I do switch between Pavonia. I don't have that with me right now. It's in my bathroom. Um... But I do switch back and forth, but this is pretty much the cleanser I stick with. So I've really noticed a significant difference in my skin. So I really have enjoyed that. Um, I guess I'll do my hair products since all the rest of them are makeup. This is um, Healthy Sexy Hair. This is the Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. Um, and it's by Sexy Hair. It's the same... Um, same person that makes Big Sexy Hair in the red, you know, the hairspray that everybody loves. Um, I have very um, thin hair, like I have a lot of it, but it's very thin. And it's very damaged because I was blonde before and my hair hates being blonde. So this, you guys can see I have some gray hair here. This here is all my natural color and then my bun is processed hair. Um, so my ends are very, very damaged. This has saved my my hair so much. Um, it smells awesome. It's not oily. Um, it really does detangle your hair really well. Um, and sometimes I don't use a regular conditioner because my um, hair tends to get very, very oily very quickly. I don't put conditioner, obviously, on my, my scalp. But um, even if I do put conditioner on in the shower usually I'm oily by the end of the day. So this has really helped if um, I want to go two or three days without washing my hair. So like I said, this is the Healthy Sexy Hair. Um, it's the Soy Tri-Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I don't really remember how much it was, but I got it at a um, beauty supply store. I used to be a cosmetologist, so I have the past where I can go in and buy products like that. Um, I think I got it at Cosmoprof, maybe. 
Um, Sally's doesn't sell it. I've gotten a lot of questions about that from friends, so I've had to purchase it for them. But I think you can also get it online if you do not have a license to go into those places. I know that you can probably get it online, but it's sexy hair, and it's it really does almost smells beachy. I love it. Okay, so um, I guess we'll just jump right on to makeup. Since my skin has really improved because of Cetaphil, um, I haven't really been wearing full foundation, um, full coverage foundation very much lately because I don't really have anything to cover anymore. I used to have really bad acne. I still have some minor scarring. Um, camera, you can't tell, but in person, like if I turn in the light, you can see just kind of like pin needle um, scarring. So that I've kind of gotten treated with, with Vibroderm and, and Dermabrasion and all that kind of stuff. But lately, because I've been using less on my face, my skin has improved. Um, so I have been really just using the Garnier, and I'm sure you guys have just heard this. I'm sure everybody has tried this. Um, it's the Garnier Skin Renew um, BB Cream, and mine is light medium. I literally put probably smaller than a dime on my hand, on the back of my hand, and just work it in and really massage it into my skin because it acts as a moisturizer as well. Um, and I have just been loving it. Um, it's, it. It is a little bit oilier than you know, most foundations because it is a BB cream. It's it's a moisturizer. Um, so if you have really oily skin, just be wary that you're probably going to have to dab your face. I mean, I have to, unfortunately, with mine, but my skin doesn't um, break out because of that. Um, it's just really been a really nice thing to just slap on when I'm going out somewhere, like if I'm going grocery shopping or you know, whatever, I, just an everyday thing. I just normally always wear this, even if I don't set it with a foundation or a powder, or even if I don't put anything else on. I usually just put this on because it evens my skin tone out and um, makes me look halfway decent. <laughs> and I'm wearing it today, so um, I really enjoyed that as well. Um, for concealer, I have a love-hate relationship with concealer. Um, the reason why I hate concealer is because it's just one extra step that I have to do. I like to be out the door pretty quickly if I'm not going to be doing anything. But I love the Kat Von D. This is her tattoo concealer. Mine is light 18. It's worn off. I've had it for a while. Pretty expensive stuff. It was like 25 bucks. But, um... I use this for underneath my eyes down to the crease of my nose to really brighten up this area and it covers blemishes really well. I have been breaking out on my chin for whatever reason and this has covered it and saved my life. So definitely try this y'all. It's really good. It doesn't cover up tattoos. I have tattoos everywhere and it doesn't cover up tattoos by any means. Um, I'm sure there's a kit that you have to do but very good for um, blemishes and dark circles. So I've loved that. Um, favorite mascara uh, as of right now is the L'Oreal Voluminous Natural, um, and it's in this gold tube, and mine is black is black. I don't know why I love this, but I just love L'Oreal's, um, mascaras. It's easy to apply, the brush is nice, um, kind of like false lashes mascara, um, I think that's what it's called. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then good, but... Um, <laughs> this has been very nice to use. It comes off very easily and it applies perfect. So I have been loving that. Um, for lips, before and after I apply my foundation or whatever I do for the day, um, I love the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I love Vaseline in general. I'm a Vaseline junkie. I have the huge tube. Put it on my eyes at night. Put it on my lips. Sometimes I put it on my face. Um, and I also use it if my skin gets really dry in here because it's about the only thing that will help. This has been great for my lips as well. I'm wearing it right now and it's just the perfect gloss kind of. You can, it's really good. I love it. To set my foundation, I have been wanting um, the Urban Decay Oil Control. I don't know. Something. It's Urban Decay. I've been wanting it as a setting spray. But I can't bring myself to purchase it for the amount of money that they're asking for it. So I went to Target because I knew that e.l.f. had a setting spray. And this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. This is good for even when I don't wear foundation. I usually spritz it on after I cleanse my face because it has those ingredients. And um, I've read the packaging. It does have some parabens in it. But... I don't really normally care about things like that, and I haven't seen it affect my skin in a negative way. So I love this stuff. Worth it. It's $3. Go get it. 
Um, and then I also use for bronzer, which is my new favorite. Actually, not new favorite, excuse me. It's been my old favorite, but I reached sleep recently repurchased it is the Sun Shimmer by Rimmel. Um, it's shimmery when you first buy it, like the top layer is, and then it's matte all the way through. Um, it's, I'm in Sun Queen. I mean, you guys can see I've hit the pan, and I've gone through about four of these, and they're really cheap. They're like $2.50, I think. Um, so that is my favorite, favorite bronzer. Um, so those are all of my favorites. I hope you guys can kind of get a feel for um, the kind of things I like to use and all that kind of stuff. And um, if you have any questions about any of the products or anything like that, please feel free to leave those comments below. Um, I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And this was a really long video again. I'm sorry. I'm such a talker. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.